The reason these windows are unique is because they are going to be the biggest windows flown to space. The windows are the quintessential part of the experience, seeing the Earth in the context of space. So we're making the biggest windows that have ever flown to space. And they have to be robust so that they're incredibly safe. And that's quite an engineering challenge. Finding the right partner was absolutely critical to the success of making the world's largest spacecraft we know. LAMAS is a cornerstone in aerospace window manufacturing and invention and their enthusiasm into being part of this project and inventing these windows to give us exactly what we were hoping for is an extraordinary achievement. What they have done to give us the windows that we were really hoping for is mind-blowing. The optical qualities, the lack of distortion really blew me away. Your windows are big, right? They're not little portholes, so they're not going to look and kind of look around. They're going to get a five-foot window that they get to stand right up next to and they can see from the stars up in the sky to across the curvature of the earth to the oceans and the land below. And so they're going to get to experience that. And it's because the windows are large and the view is going to be wonderful. So the windows for our capsule are quite unique in that they react a tremendous amount of pressure from the inside to the outside of the capsule. Also, they have to be exceptionally clear, distortion-free, and of course, very safe. Because you're flying at 100,000 feet, what we had to do is build a coating that would reflect the UV rays, that would reflect that energy, so it wouldn't absorb it into the aircraft and heat up the capsule. We're one of four companies in the world that can do some of these special vacuum chamber coatings, and we developed that working together with Space Perspective team to come up with this new coating for the Spaceship Neptune. The coating that we developed is unique in that it's designed to reflect UV rays and help with temperature control inside of the capsule. One side can be really hot and the other side can be in your sub-zero range. What I have here is analysis of the reflection, absorption and transmission of solar loads on the external surface of the window. The panes facing the sun have a temperature of close to 33 degrees Celsius, whereas the ones that are away from the sun have a temperature of negative 3 degrees Celsius. Developing a coating that can reflect light and help with the capsule conditions and then also have very good optics was the main challenge that we overcame. We have three large vacuum chambers here that we use for putting on thin film coatings in a vacuum setting. In layman's terms, what we do is we take a metal target, we call it, put that in a vacuum chamber with your window, pump it down very low pressures and ignite it. And what we're doing is basically vaporizing a metal molecule by molecule and adhering that to your windows. We're actually applying a metal material to the window and making it still transparent. For space perspective windows, the main purpose of the coating was reflecting UV rays and temperature control and having a good viewing experience for the customers. We were able to achieve that and the windows being clear, having the reflective coatings so we don't get the UV exposure at uh, high altitudes and the thermal properties and the safety aspect of them. The icing on the cake is that there's zero distortion throughout. And that, is just, uh, that is just incredible. That's pretty awesome, guys. I think this is a very unique experience because we'll be helping a lot of people get to see their first view of space and getting to see Earth from such a high altitude. We're really excited to be a part of that and to help this come to fruition and to help so many people get to experience this is really exciting for us.